<laughs> it was the strangest experience um, that I ever had, but I never forgot that. And I think the Milwaukee Symphony still remembers that because it never happened again. Well, I think I have to say Beethoven right now because I've been thinking about him a lot and, and talking about him a lot. And um, that would be a terrifying thrill, I think. <laughs> Frightening, but amazing. His way of thinking about music and thinking about art and thinking about people, I think especially that. Because with Beethoven, it was all about the individual and what one person could do. And that changed the world. So that I would love to talk to him about. When I was doing my very first concert, this was a very important moment for me in Milwaukee Symphony. I was their associate conductor, and this was my big my big moment to do a real subscription concert, full two hours evening concert. And we started out with La Forza del Destino by Verdi, and it was going well. And something happened in the stage. There was a short of some sort, and the the entire front part of the stage started slowly to descend, taking me with it but also the, all the first violins and all the cellos and a few of the basses who had had to sort of choose where they were standing. Uh, and we were all slowly lowered to the bottom of the pit, which was way down. Um, and everyone kept playing. I always remember this so clearly. No one batted an eye. No one even looked alarmed. Everyone just kept really playing, you know, like a, we're gonna do this, we're gonna make this work. And we, I was finally way down there and we got to the end and somehow we all cut off together. <laughs> It was the strangest experience um, that I ever had, but I never forgot that. And I think the Milwaukee Symphony still remembers that because it never happened again. You know, sometimes I feel a little bit like, and all this is because it goes back to my childhood, to the Joe in Little Women, who was trying to forge a path in a different way, you know, and uh, although that's, you know, I haven't even read it for a long time, but I remember identifying with her so strongly when I was a child and, uh, and I thought she was such a hero. Favorite composer is impossible to answer, but I can tell you a favorite time, uh, the first half of the 20th century. Those composers to me really speak so strongly, uh, whether it's Mahler or Ravel or Prokofiev or Bartok. Um, they, they mean a lot to me. I mean, not only because they're working with a tremendous palette of the orchestra, just, but also they're working in a time of change and and uh, terror and possibility and hope. And that really is expressed in their music. So that's the period that I love, but I can't pick just one of those. You know, I felt like I've been a musician since I was seven. So it's hard to imagine not being a musician. I mean, maybe I would be playing my guitar more because I, that was how I started. And, and that's, I love that too. Uh, but I think it's hard to imagine not being in the middle of an orchestra. At least I wouldn't want to not be in the middle of an orchestra. I love it. <laughs>